Hi. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little star, which my daughter Josie taught me how to make. It's really simple. First, you start with a rectangle. It needs to be actually a square. You can make it any size you want, but I'm going to make mine 25 millimeters by 25. So I just make my square, type 25, comma 25, hit enter, and then that makes it a square. If I grab the push-pull tool, I can stretch that box, up, or make it a box rather, and again, by typing 25, I'm guaranteeing that this is a cube, 25 millimeters by 25 by 25. Now, I'm going to grab a pencil, the line tool, and I'm going to score each corner. These score lines are going to end up being faces of the star. Make sure that you end up on an endpoint. It should turn green and say endpoint. I'm now going to grab the orbit tool and orbit to the other three faces. Again, the line tool, and we'll score each face ending on the endpoint. Okay, so if I rotate over, you can kind of see what it looks like. So now with the eraser tool, I'm going to erase all of the original edges of the cube. You should erase 12 edges. Orbit once again, and delete the remaining ones with the eraser. Take your time and make sure when you're done, your little star looks like that. So you can be done at this point if all you're interested in is just a, a model, a cosmetic model. But if you would like to print this thing, there are a few more steps. That you need to take. One, I'm going to grab the arrow tool, highlight my model, I'm going to right click on the model and choose intersect faces with the model. What that's going to do is where those where the faces intersect it's going to add edges. Beforehand that edge and that edge and that edge weren't there and now they are. So that's the first step. The next step is we have to go inside and delete the inner edges. If you 3D print that, this piece right now, you've got all these pyramids on the outside and then on the inside you've got a hollow space. And when it prints, all of those edges won't be attached. So you come up here and you grab the section plane tool. And I, if you click right there on the top where the plane is flat, then that gives you a nice big uh, plane that you can then go through the model uh, and, and see what's inside. If you, if you have a hard time lining up your, your section plane here on that point, you could always just make a little rectangle over here, a little box, and then use the section plane to... Um, to lock onto that top and then you can move it up and down. Okay, so, oh, and incidentally, if you don't have these tools, you need to go to View Toolbars and choose Large Tool Set and you'll see all these tools on there. Okay, so now I can select the plane. I can press the, the Move button or the M key on the keyboard, and then I can move this down. I'm just grabbing it and sliding it down. Okay. So what we have here is we've got we've got these outer pyramid pieces here, but then they intersect inside with this face, and we want to get rid of these faces. So the way you do it is with the arrow key, click on each face, and then on your keyboard press the delete key. So there are four faces inside and I'm just cl single clicking on the faces 
and now the bottom faces are gone. I grab the arrow key again, move this plane up, and now we're going to delete those these other faces here that you see. Again, uh, the arrow tool. Click on each interior face. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And now you can tell that the inside is hollow. All right. We're done with that section plane, so you can you can highlight it, delete it, and now you're good to go. Export that model as an STL file, and it will print uh, really, really nicely. It's handy, perhaps, for you math types out there to know that the dimension, which, by the way, I can, I can show, the dimension of each of these sides is 17.7. Oh, that's kind of hard to see there. 17.7 millimeters. And so perhaps uh, for the advanced math students out there, you can calculate what the volume should be. SketchUp can actually calculate the volume for you. If you highlight the piece, right-click on it, make it a group, you can then right-click and choose Entity Info. And you can see there that the volume is about 78,000 cubic millimeters. Well, it sounds like a lot, but that's actually not. There it is. Thank you for watching.